Okay, we found the uh, contestants of the, of the new Survivor. It's called Survivor Bohol. There they are. Five gay men on an island. Actually, more of a just a small rock. What's the prize for this one? You guys are on Survivor, right? This is called Survivor? Yeah, the show that you're on, Survivor? A house is coming our way. There's a house. It's not a boat, it's a house. Did you guys hear about the alligators here? Okay, we're in a bit of trouble here. The engine's not starting. Scotty! What's going on? You like my dramatic look? Uh-oh, the engine's not starting. I think we do need to get out of here. Okay, I'm in Carmen Bohol right now. And I'm going up the 214 step stairs up to the apex of the Chocolate Hills complex, this hill that I'm standing on. It's amidst all the Chocolate Hills. So once I get to the top, we'll see a view of all the hills out here. I can, actually, I can see him now. Well, the sign read 214 steps going up, uphill. But I'm an optimist, so I like to see it as 214 steps going down when I go back. So it's not so much of a strain on my calf muscles. Actually, I'm feeling a little cramp right on this one. Oh man, I should have stretched before I went on this one. Ah, but I'm gonna work through the pain. Work through the pain. Let's work through the pain. Let's go. Ah. Ooh. Those are actually the Chocolate Hills, the famous Chocolate Hills of uh, Bohol. They're uh, one of a kind, and there's actually 1,286, about that many of them. And they're anywhere from 20 to 50 meters high. In the summer, it gets really dry, so they become brownish in color, hence the name Chocolate Hills. But right now, some of them are kind of green because the uh, rainy season has started. And you can see them as far as but maybe a couple miles away. So take a look around. Uh, we, we asked some of the locals here um, how these were formed, and one of them told me that uh, they're supposedly the tears of the giants. But the scientist said uh, it's part of uh, some kind of uh, tectonic plate something, which basically is uh, the sci scientific way of saying we don't know. That one over there is called Hershey's. And the one behind it is M&M. And then the one right behind that is Cadbury. And there's Goya and uh, all the other good stuff that you get on Halloween. Which is, incidentally, I hate Halloween because, you know, when I was young, my mom used to dress me up in white and put a, or no, black, all in black, and then put a red cap. And uh, she'd say, Anako, you will be the best bottle of soy sauce. If it's your first time here at the Chocolate Hills Complex, there's actually a wishing well with a bell. So you take a coin, you make your wish, I wish this show would rate higher, and you throw it in the well. Of course, you gotta ring the bell. So good luck. Release it. Oh, it didn't hit. Release it. Ah, one more time. here in Katipuna and Alicia Bohol. It's about a four-hour bus ride from Tagbilaran. But if you have your own car, it's probably going to take about three hours. And I heard about this uh, elementary school, the Katipunan Elementary School, and they have these kids that play the Kulintang. And there they are. Let's go watch them. They're so cute! Look at them! A whole band of Kulintang players. They even have a... Uh, Drum-like uh, bamboo instruments of some sort. I don't know what they are. Impressive. Oh, was really a land of uh, musicians. Who is the leader of this band? Who's your leader? Is there like a lead? Who's the leader? You? No, you? Oh, she's the leader. She's the band leader. What's your name? What's your name? Dima. <laughs> so 
So what are the the uh, exercises, the drills that you do? It's like a Mozart. Not my fault. You were good. High five. All right. Can you show me what do you, what do you call this thing? Huh? Yeah. Don't don't. I mean, uh, don't don't listen to whatever those people say. You were the star. You you were the rock star. The way you do that again. Show me how you do that. See, you look at that. See, see, you are a rock star in the making. Don't ever let them take that away from you. Can you show me how to do that again? Can you do that again? I saw you like do some uh, moves while you were playing with your ukulele. You were doing some cha-cha uh, moves. Maybe you can teach me. How do you do the cha-cha thing? He plays the ukulele and he can cha-cha at the same time. What's your name, sir? Mr. Catalino Salarda. Catalino Salarda. He is the musical trainer of all the the conductor, trainer. Do you, do you ever have any problems with the, with the kids? Like, uh, yeah? <laughs> like, are they late? Attendance? Or are they like, like, do you feel like they're divas? They, you know, I don't need practice. Who's the, who's the most problematic? Who's the worst? Who's, who's the not so good? <laughs> Look at that, fancy. Do the grapevine. That's the grapevine. My friend Momog. Like that? Like that? Wow. No, you were, I mean, you just stood out because, um, you know, like, for me, like, the only instrument I can really play is a triangle. You know, a triangle. You know the triangle? You know the thing? Like a, a triangle. You know the triangle, right? You just kind of ring it. Does anybody get free time from here? They don't really consider it as a human